With the one-legged RDL, we will get into a split stance. So back foot actually goes onto a wall, front foot um, a little bit further forward. We're keeping the knee on top of um, the ankle here. And we're having a dumbbell in the opposite hand. And from here, the first thing we want to do is instead of having the hip front on, we will start rotating it a little bit. So we turn it towards the lead leg without the lead knee falling out. So knee stays in, hip stays rotating in. We will also bring this dumbbell across over the foot. And this is where we start from. The other hand will literally flat on, go on the butt cheek, and this serves as a reference for us to push into. So all we want here is the hip traveling straight back, pushing that hand away. And Jimmy will feel the glutes lengthening as well as he performs this exercise. Nice, pausing at the bottom, and all we want here is just horizontal travel of this hip. Yep, let's go. Just pushing this hip backwards, letting the back knee rotate in. So the whole time we're flexing the hip as well as turning into that front leg. At the very bottom, stop here, he will feel that he can't go any lower without his hip either going down or the hamstring stretching more. So that will be the bottom for him. As he goes back up, he keeps this knee very tight in place. He never lets it travel forward. As he goes down, he shifts back, pauses at the bottom, and then keeping the lead knee in place, never letting it travel forward. He just brings the hip all the way forward, all the way forward. Yep, yeah, even more. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Let's go. Last one. Shifting it back, and then keeping the knee in place, shifting the hip all the way forward. That's it, nice. He's already shaking.